Hello everyone, this is Iris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue for episode 12 from turn 83 in the winter season of 206. So last episode we did some confederation and the extra armies we got is helping us turn the battle around as Quay Path held multiple times and we are now counterattacking north of the Aetsi River, forcing some of Wei's army to kind of abandon the attack and start sailing back because we have Guan Yu's army landing on the north here. We have Liu Yao's forces attacking for us over here, and we have additional armies sieging in other key locations. So hopefully within three turns, at least within the year 207, we hope to wipe out all of Cao Cao's holdings in the south, and to be able to send more forces to attack. That's pretty much where things stand. I think all the armies have moved. Uh, the only one that did not move is Kui Path, who is just going to hold. I'm not going to go after either side. If they want to sail and just move that way, it's fine. We have spare armies coming up. No one has siege weapons, at least within vision. There might be an army coming down that has siege weapons, but I don't think they can reach us in time. So we should be able to at least get a turn of rest. If we do get sieged, our solution could be... We can, can we? We can't really push them away, can we? We can fight this. We're down a general. But we could fight this. I want to buy them some time to replenish. That's the big thing. And the only way we can do that is by just attacking them. Which I think... Right, we basically don't night battle this. We take the garrison troop with us and we fight this one. We win this one. Yeah, pretty low level generals. And then we can sit behind here and encamp. We don't get our third general, but Chongpo should be able to duel at least one of them. We're looking at six cavalry unit, a bunch of spear. Uh, not a bunch of spear. Half spear, half melee infantry. Tingzhou units, I think those are. And two archers. There's just not a lot of range on Cao Cao's generals. We saw two strategists who only brought like a few archers. Okay, this time they're coming from over here. So we actually kind of want to shift our strategy a little bit. Leave this thing here. Leave this randomly here. Should be good. Now we are technically attacking, so they might not be super incentivized to come over here. We'll go start some fires in their forest and see if they do anything. Oh, it is snowing though, it's kind of be hard to start a fire. Ah, it's still working. I think they're just not moving because they have this. What if we burn it down? Right, because of the snow, it's like rain. Ah, oh, they're moving now. Let's go, 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 run back.
Probably. All right, we should be fine. We can kind of show up, do our thing, and then run back. Surprised they haven't targeted this guy yet. Since they haven't moved, we'll give them a better target. Alright, run back. They're not firing. Must be an elevation thing. About here? There we go. They found us. We're not ready to fight them here and pull them back towards our line. You guys far will. Come Let's activate our cavalry. 
军士卒仓皇逃命，真乃丧家之犬。I think we got this. We can just get army loss on that. There we go. And should be the win right here. Unbreakable on bandit unit two for a couple seconds. Wow. I think we actually want to release him, or else he just gets replaced. We just want to do this. To make sure they can't stop our replenishment again. Alright, we have a little bit more cash from the fighting. Let's see if we can use it anywhere. Huh, not quite. Um, are there any incorrect minor buildings that we can fix? Mixed bag? Alright, that's fine. I guess that's pretty much it. We'll save the money. Well, let's continue. Ah, it's a little bit annoying, but given our improved situation with Cao Cao, it's not too bad. They're sallying out. Well, they don't have the vantage if they do that. We don't care about quality, we're just trying to spam some quant uh, quantity to help us take the land. Ooh. They can initiate the fight without sieging. 
because the reinforcement army also has this. Well, we can we can fight it and just try not to lose too much. Good thing we pulled the army out. Yeah, we didn't see where they came from. So it looks like the Quay Path is going to fall, but uh, we made them pay quite a hefty price. Well, the snow is good for us. Um, wall damage. One tower's up, main tower's down. It's been sieged. Gate's still locked, but the wall's cracked. And for once, this army doesn't have that many cavalry units. That's good enough. Yeah, our intention here is pretty clear. Gonna put our archers on the wall mostly. should be here. Knock down their trebuchet. Trump was a little bit too weak to do a lot here. I hold Dun rushing in here. Okay, I mean, we could try to kill him with dismounted generals. Looks like we got one of them. Evacuate. 
有趣啊！你又能鼓唇弄舌，又懂战场厮杀。赶快！备就绪，好起来！准备开战。We should be able to kill him pretty quickly, actually. Tower is killing our guys more than killing him. Getting pounded, trying to kill our tower. Alright, if they're gonna concentrate their attack on this one side, we could go annoy them with our cavalry units here. Whoever is doing the suicide path of running through the wooden stake, can we stop that group? This guy. We might want to try to kill some of the archers. There might be too many of them. Yeah, they can't get close to the archers. This is a problem. Alright, they gotta go. They can't stay here anymore. Go, go, go before they get surrounded. Okay, we got rid of one trebuchet.
And in comes more reinforcement, including more cavalry units. We might have to just dismount and try to fight some of their generals on foot. This is a suicidal charge, but we're going to do it. I don't feel like we can contribute very much outside anyways. It looks like they're only interested in going through the front. They're pretty smart. They're not really going for the oil. Okay, two units got to the Onyx Dragons. Good for them. Contain that. Our siege weapons are online as well. Hold, hold, hold. Get inside. Enemy generals aren't coming in. So I guess we'll stay here. Well, we didn't start the fire, but it's going to be okay. We're just going to try to hold here as long as we can. I don't know how accurate we're going to be, but we're going for those shots right there. Xiao 
Alright, ideally she dies and gives him a heal. We might not get that chance. But yeah, our goal is just to make them hurt. I think we're doing that. He is here. Holding. There are some friendly fire from our crossbow, but I think it's worth it. The next wave is incoming. We'll wait till they enter through choke points before we start throwing the shots out. Do you still fire? I feel like he has 19 ammo, he just hasn't really fired. Oh, there we go, he shot. Yeah, they haven't made it up the first staircase yet, so we're still good. We're out of ammo for all our range units. There's not any, like, sort of range target they can go after. This cavalry unit... We could charge something like a general. Z spear wall is just poking them down. They can't fight their way up this. They flee. But here comes more. Alright. When they squeeze through this little pass, we are going to unleash as much as we can. to flank. Fire. Oh, 
They don't have any more reinforcement. This is it. There's a lot of generals on the field, but if we could hold here, that would be amazing. Maybe we can stand on here and shoot at the cavalry unit. Ah, uh, took out a general. Okay. I don't need to fight the archers who are basically infantry at this point. Reserve our cavalry for something better. Get them in the middle. No, 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 no. They're coming after the siege weapons. And we're almost done shooting, so if they actually want to come over here and fight that, that's okay. Help swarm that, just overwhelm them with infantry. Oh, you you sit there, Grandpa. You don't don't die. I need you for a little bit of morale boost. can route him pretty easily, and then maybe go after one of the generals. No, don't don't tango with the spear. Maybe go take out the strategist. Should be an easy target. Alright, you attack that. We'll go flank. Where's our other archer with ammo? It's okay, we're trading health with any any enemy generals is fine. form a full surround on him. We'll grind them off at the stairs here. Shoot these. Mm, maybe not. Hit something like this, maybe? Turn it around. Rosbo kill that. Just, yeah, just trade the health with enemy generals is fine. Around. Maybe we get an army loss? We do! Oh my god, what a hold. It's over. Wow. Epic fight.
We just took out, what, three full stacks? Probably the best defensive siege battle ever played in the game. In my, like, 3,000 hours of playing the game. Execute because he has items. Same thing here. This one, I feel like we can just release. What a hole. Kingdom of Wei decimated. Yeah, we're going to run away from these two armies. We might try to confederate Hanfu just so that we have a clear path to escape. They're pulling back to defend against Guan Yu, but they committed an extra army over there, which means, see, this one's not coming back healthy, and Guan Yu should have an easier time. They're putting up a defense here, but we also have more armies committed over here, so we should be able to still take out the south and probably have energy to fight Yan Bai Hu as well. What a clutch hold. He's still wandering around. He's landless and uh, directionless. Ooh. Fight? Why siege us if it's not going to fight us? And here comes Zhuge Liang. After three visits. Banquet again. Zhang Cheng. Zhang Zhao's son, Kuai Yue. Deng Yuan used to be the leader of Dong Lai's faction. Cui Yan. And Chun Yu Chung with his gold item. Coming from a faction who we can possibly wipe before they do any sort of spy action against us. Or as long as we wipe him out, then the spy action is not a concern. Alright, unless we think he can dish out the spy action like this turn. Well, Jiang Qin's back. More things are in our favor. Let's wipe them out. Pulling us away from Kui Path. I don't think we want to do that. We'll sit tight. They lost their fight. They don't have anything left to throw at us. And we have a reinforced army coming in the area, and then we have another one coming to welcome him. Um, we will grab Chuan because I believe we can defeat his faction before he does any spy action against us. Tuiyan, pretty famous scholar, but uh, we don't really care about that. Zhang Cheng comes with items, but most likely a spy. Huai Yue. Probably a spy as well. Not a bad assignment character, I guess. Ah, burn officer who is... Someone we can recruit because we can confederate the faction. And then also not a spy for us in that case. I think we mentioned we want him for his items. And then we play fire him. We should do that now before I forget. Thank you. Okay, we could go grab this and fix a lot of our building deficiencies. 
doesn't help elsewhere. I will grab it. It's just annoying seeing those buildings not online because of it. Campaign movement for Guanyu's army in foreign territory. Yeah, this is not bad. Deplete supply at Poyang. Give them a chance to ambushing. Force of trade. That sounds good. These are not that useful. We can kill Xiao doing right off the bat. Instant siege or increased damage during siege. This actually helps us. Although a cruel way to send him to his grave. But I guess this is war. We don't need these. We could also wait. Some of the suggestions, I think the trade is only one that I really would like. Like once Guan Yu conquers Jiang Xia, we should get some very different ones for his setup. Alright, this is a pretty strong army. Can't wait to get Zhang Fei and them back to the front lines. They're almost done. Ling Ling. What's just a rank 10? It used to be Sun Ce's second capital after losing his emperor seat. We don't have night battle. We're not fully healed. Garrison's not fully healed. So I guess we're in trouble here. We can send a secondary army over. I think we can still win this. We'll take a look at this at the end of the turn. Should and Vala have like reverse mock for how the TV series have him spitting blood after losing the debate against Ruga Liang. Yeah, we're carving them apart. Can we reach this? We can. They never upgraded it? Are you serious? Okay, here we have to solve this diplomatically. 63, yep. We just have to give him some empty promises here. This way the spy he sent also wouldn't affect us. And then given our financial turnaround, we can start pumping out real armies too. How are we so negative with him? Like this is our what seventh deal with him, and we're still only at like plus sixty-five. Alright, one more just so that. Actually, we can start asking for some cash back, maybe. He's decently wealthy. Let's 
get just 500 back for now. It'd be funny if he has a bunch of really good armies right there that we can use. Unlikely, but who knows? That's still so negative. Alright, finally looking a little green. Are they finally going to peace out with us? Because we have a common enemy in Cao now. They've been at war with us since turn one, and we are just so far away from them that they have not done anything about it. We're to end three. Any items by any chance? No? Okay. I guess we'll just drain them of their last bit of cash. Next deal, we'll push them over 150, and we can easily get the Confederation. Give us everything. There we go. How many armies? Two. One full stack, that's not very good. Okay, I'm just gonna fire this guy. Alright, at least no one has grudges. It's only level 3? That means no walls. Alright, this is just a raid. We're going to be very annoying and just going to, like, take to small territories along the way. Night battle. Tong Wu. Xin Wu Zao Nye. Alright, we're just gonna downgrade it down all the way. Alright, we'll meet up. They will take this and this. They're pretty much healed. March to the borders. They're beaten. They can't do much about it. We will come out. They have all moved. Uh, this situation is a little bit awkward. They will move north. They will come down. These two will go fight Yan Bai Hu. Hmm. I mean, the easy solution is to launch a secondary army here. It's like, first proxy someone. And then we need someone with night battle, I think. I'm guessing one of our high level strategists should have it. We need to check. Wait, where is that girl? Oh, maybe she's an administrator, so she's listed up here. Yep. 
She has it. So that's really all we need. So we'll have her lead. We call him. She gets full movement, which is not enough, actually. So we need to go. We need to proxy someone else out. She can't be the one. I guess we don't need night battle. We just need three strong generals. I guess if they happen to have a unit, that's fine too. Alright, we get a full movement bar as well. Wangzu. Uh, we're still not favored, but I feel a lot better about the fight with the three generals. There are a ton of enemy unit. But if we can hold this, it would be a lot easier. The garrison's really bad. It's barely there. That's the bulk of our force. Most of the unit are injured. There's also no cavalry? There should be a cavalry unit, right? Are they not coming in until... You guys go back. I think we have better units than these. There we go. So what do we got here? Nothing too offensive, but still a decent amount of generals. Look for the enemy. We initiated the attack, so they don't have to come towards us. Looks like they are willing to duel. If we can find them. And we'll, we'll take the three fights. I'm gonna go in and debuff them. Right, we don't need to stack that. They should have a fourth general right in the back. Right, 
Show Siva. This one looks like we might lose. This one will definitely win. We just do as much damage as he can. It's fine. Ooh. Got taken out. One we got knocked off our horse, so we take some early damage. Alright, we're gonna have a next round of debuffs. Good win. We'll get that girl out here. He's mounting, I think. Come on. He is mounted now. Let's just get out then. Unless... There you go. This feels like a win. This one's close. Without siege weapons, we can't really force them to come to us. I don't know how we can win this battle. I don't think it benefit us to kind of move it up. We don't even have fire arrows here. Uh, looks like he's gonna lose here. We can hang on to here. Uh, we're just kind of stuck in the middle of their infantry, which kind of sucks. But it's kind of hard for us to get out. They didn't auto mount right away. Oh, he mounted. Okay, never mind. They wouldn't get out. Cost us about three generals, take out three of theirs. He might bounce back. He bounced back. I think we're still fine. 
We force him to fight us this way. So that cavalry gets like a rear charge opportunity later. We can't really utilize our towers, unfortunately. I mean, we are the attacking side. It makes sense. We have more range with our bow, so I think we can force them to come towards us. They should have stock. If you're willing to give us free hits, we'll take it. Alright, they're finally charging. I'm over here to give the bonus. I'm over here to give the debuff. She's down. Our javelins are stabbing them in the back. I think we're okay. Got to get the big turn. We need the full army loss to kick in.
I think we got the win. Not too bad. Dianchi, 而敌军仍在做困兽之斗。Oh, um, well, given the choices here, I think we actually want to hire just to get rid of the army completely from the field. 奋力，我们需要如此虎狼之势。All right, so we can easily counterattack, finish them off. Yan Bai Hu is also not that strong. Cao Cao's territory, they do have army in the south, but that's. Very minor. We have three armies that can press on it pretty easily. We can probably just use two, uh, to be honest. Maybe just one will be enough to at least hold them here. Guan Yu is in the north. We confederated Han Fu, and we have his armies in the north. We're going to just continue to run sort of these raids along the coast just to make him annoyed. Uh, we have held at Kui Path. We defeated three full stacks. Relatively healthy after that. And Shi is on its way. Our Three armies in the Shu land are on its way, and we can start airdropping four armies in places like Jiangxia. Now that we have a foothold and uh, we have a lot of money to afford some really good armies too, faction councils still haven't done that yet, and we'll take our pick next time. And things are looking very good as we are now in the final steps. 74 counties hold, 21 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and potentially a bunch of these confederates. So let's just say there's 10 more in the south, uh, actually more than that. Let's say there's about 15 more in the south that we can easily get. Then we just need about 6 of Cao Cao's county, and there's definitely more than 6 on the way to the 2 emperor seat, and uh, we should be fine. Especially some of these that we dropped the level by ourselves before we lost them, so they'd be easy recoveries once we... Uh, counter-attack here. Uh, Cao Cao, given the mod, will have full stacks again. I think some of these weakened stack we should purposely keep on the field just to make things a little bit easier for us. Uh, but our more elite unit are actually going to come up once we clean up the south, so shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. As we have demonstrated, we can outplay their forces quite easily. So uh, hopefully we can wrap things up within a few episodes. It will still be some fight uh, to take these two in pursuit, but you know, the future looks bright. So until next time, bye.